Hey everybody, do you have a Behringer XR series mixer and you've had either intermittent or complete loss of signal from your left and right outputs? Well, if that's the case, before you decide you've got a unit that needs repair or is faulty, there's something else that might be going on. And we're gonna talk about what that is right now. Let's go. Okay, so what's this possible solution I'm referring to? It's a ribbon cable on the inside of the device that from time to time is not seated properly before it leaves the factory. And of course, if it's not seated properly, these devices, which are meant to be moved around and bumped and have on stage and uh, you know possibly kicked or dropped, any of those situations can take an already loose ribbon cable and completely pop it out of its seating. So before we actually open up my device and have a look at what's going on with my ribbon cable and which ribbon cable it is we're actually talking about, I wanna quickly look at my software so I can show you that A, I'm seeing signal coming in and B, I'm seeing signal that should be going out but we're not hearing anything. So let's have a look at the software right now. Okay, so you should see my software here on the screen and I'm just gonna pull this microphone over because this is what I've got connected. You can see if I tap it, we're seeing signal jump on the input. And of course, you're seeing signal uh, come out on the main left right. It's showing signal uh, just as we would expect it to. But we're not hearing anything. And I do have my speaker connected. So you can see signal coming in, signal should be going out, but we're not hearing anything. This is probably something you're used to seeing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the device and have a look at what's happening on the inside. So of course the first thing we're gonna do is power off the device. We don't wanna open anything up with power plugged into it, power turned on. So I'm gonna remove all my input and output cables and I'm going to physically power the device off and remove the power cable from the side. So here we are, I'm going to power the device off on the side. I'm going to remove my microphone input. I'm going to remove my speaker left right out. I'm going to remove the ethernet cable I've got plugged in and I'm going to physically pull the power cable out of the side. I don't want any power running through this device. I don't want any signal running through this device when I open it up. With uh, everything unplugged from our mixer, the next thing to do obviously is remove the screws. So um, I'm not going to make you watch me do it. I'm just going to point out which screws actually need to be removed. So you can have a look here in this other camera. Um, there's nothing on this panel, which would be the top. On the back, there is one, two, three. Those need to come out. And on the bottom, there's another one, two, three. Those also need to come out. So that's six on the bottom and back. And then at each end, you have four small screws. So this side and the other side. So you take out those four, the other four, the three here and the three here. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 screws in total. Now you'll notice these holes are open. These are the holes that you use to mount either the rubber bumpers or your brackets for a rack. Um, now, I have mine out because I took the bumpers off earlier when this came back from somebody borrowing it. Um, but these four and the four on the other side for the bumpers or the rack ears, they don't actually hold it together. It's literally just for uh, holding this in place or supporting it in the rack. So you don't need to worry about those. If you've got those in, you can leave them. They don't actually go into the unit to hold it. I, I would recommend taking them out because it'll probably make it just a little bit more difficult to maneuver the lid off once you've got it open. And you'll see what I mean once we get to that step. Um, but it's up to you. They are not... Uh, there to hold this box together. So with that said, let's get these screws out and open this box up. Now, there are ribbon cables attached which make it difficult to open, so you have to be very careful, and I'm gonna do my best to get a shot inside uh, to show you what's going on without actually pulling anything else apart. Um, the reason this is kind of a big issue is that some of the ribbon cables are glued in place. Now, I don't particularly want to uh, remove the glue and, and have that come off. Not that my device gets moved around a lot, but I just rather have it secure. So 
um, what I've done is I've got it laid on its back. I've taken out all the screws and what I'm going to do is slowly tip um, the cover forward. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna see the ribbon cable I'm talking about that stops you from opening it. It's this main ribbon cable here, which I'm honestly not sure what it is. It could be power. Uh, looks like a power connector for this particular uh, main board. So once you've got it tipped forward, you can actually kind of tip it up on its side without stretching those ribbon cables too far. Now I'm going to grab the other camera here and try to give you a good look at what's happening inside. Here is what we are seeing inside the device. Uh, you've got a ribbon cable here. Again, I think this is power for this board. Um, you've got another ribbon cable here. I believe this is for your um, inputs. I'm not sure. Someone uh, obviously is going to know better and if you are sure of what these ribbon cables are, please uh, mention it in the comments. But this ribbon cable here, this is the one in question that could be the problem. And you'll see it's just got a little clip on the front that actually snaps it down into place. So obviously if I touch this, you can see it's moving around. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some people have been reporting intermittent signal. Now I've tried partially seating this, I've tried tipping it one way or the other, and that doesn't seem to give me intermittent signal at all. I've either got all signal or I've got no signal. Um, so if you've been able to reproduce this after this video, after uh, looking at this ribbon cable, or or you've got another idea as to why intermittent signal is happening, by all means, put it in the comments. But here we are with a cable that's clearly not seated properly. So you can see I've just pulled it right off and I shouldn't be able to do that. So if you've got no signal at all, this could be your issue. And I would strongly suggest you open this box up and have a quick look before you decide to send this off. Now, if this is indeed your problem, you're just going to seat it back in there and you are just going to push down until you hear it click into place. Hopefully you heard that little click. And now you can see that this latching mechanism is over top of the piece that holds it in place underneath. I know that's difficult to see uh, with this camera. You have my apologies there. Um, but the other thing is you'll know it's seated if you try to move it and you don't actually see the plastic insert for it moving around. You can see my cable moving, but the insert itself is not. And I cannot easily pull it out. I would have to press on the front of the clip so that it pops up and then I'd be able to remove it. So that's it. Have a quick look. Make sure your ribbon cable is attached. It's time to close up the box. So you're going to want to tilt it slowly in the opposite direction of what we did to get it to this position. So tilt it to the side, and then you can place the cover back on, slide it firmly into place, and then you can start putting your screws back in. So there we go, all our screws are back in. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to reattach power and I'm gonna reattach my input and output in my network cables so that I can show you in the software that I haven't changed anything um, software related, but now we have signal flowing the way it should out through my main left right. So let's get it plugged back in. Okay, so everything plugged back in, powered on, sorry, powered on now, and I'm going to wait for the software to reconnect, uh, which we'll see it do automatically as soon as the mixer picks up the, uh, picks up the network. Any minute now, there we go. So obviously I haven't changed anything. You can see the screen is exactly as I left it uh, with my main fader up, my first fader up, and let's unmute left and right. Let's bring this microphone over. Check, 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 one, two. So you can see I've now got signal going and coming out of my uh, main speakers. So um, am I hearing it out of both left and right? There's left. 
there's right, yep, we have it in both. So that ribbon cable was the culprit. And this has been happening to a lot of people. This video idea was actually submitted by a subscriber. Uh, and I'm glad they submitted it because I had a quick look and realized that a lot of people are actually experiencing this. So uh, like I said earlier, if you've got a system that's not outputting or it's intermittent, please, before you send it off and spend money you might not need to spend, open this up, have a quick look at your ribbon cable. And if it's not seated, seat it. And hopefully that brings you back to operational. So there we go, another successful video. I hope this was interesting or educational or just fun to watch. And if it was any of those things, please like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on Patreon. And until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. Bye.